Hey guys, welcome back to Whiteboard Crypto Update, the best spot for your daily dose of everything XRP and cryptocurrency. In today's video, we will talk about XRP's future. Keep watching this video to find out more so that you don't miss out on an excellent opportunity to win a giveaway of 120 XRP tokens at the end of this month. So be sure to stay focused as you surely don't want to miss out on this. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. Please remember this is not a financial advice video. Cryptocurrencies could be a safe place to go and a way to protect yourself from S and D. Like how some people use gold, it is the literal savior of the US dollar. The money it will free up from Nostro and Vostro accounts and the faster flow of money across borders will bring in a lot more money for the country. On social media, there are a lot more tweets and conversations about the price of XRP. In the past, social media has sparked well-known bull runs in cryptocurrency and the stock market. A long-held idea that Ripple was trying to take over the US dollar has also gotten more support. When it was said that CEO Brad Garlinghouse would speak at the World Economic Forum in the spring of 2020, rumors began to spread. Now, a well-known collaboration that was found on the WEF website adds fuel to the fire. Any cryptocurrency that goes up in value but can't buy more things is a threat. If the value of the US dollar goes down, a thousand dollars in your bank account today will be worth only six hundred dollars in five years. This is not the case if you put that thousand dollars into a cryptocurrency that, despite being volatile, is going up in value. Your ability to buy things stays the same. Validators check that proposed transactions are correct by comparing them to the most recent version of the XRP ledger. This is a unique consensus mechanism. Instead of using proof-of-work or proof-of-work to verify transactions, like Bitcoin does, the ledger only shows transactions that the majority of validators have checked and found to be true. This method is based on a network of servers that are controlled by banks. The default validator for Ripple is made up of 35 trusted nodes. List six of the Ripple organization's 35 trusted validation nodes, and Ripple will decide which validators to add to the default unique node. Thanks to Ripple's consensus process for verification, XRP transactions use much less energy, take less time, and cost much less than Bitcoin transactions. Also, financial institutions could use XRP as a bridge currency for trading foreign exchange, saving money by holding XRP instead of different fiat currencies from around the world. A new thing is that the XRP community has a place on the website of the World Economic Forum. W the digital remittance token is now an official partner of the WEF. Ripple is building and supporting future use cases that will speed up the new digital economy for governments, businesses, and consumers, according to the official website. Again, data from sentiment analysis on social media shows that people are interested in the XRP price. Throughout the summer, Ripple's social media comments have often been all over the place. Aaron Brown, a crypto analyst on Quora, disagrees. He thinks that foreign currencies and gold should be held by central banks as reserve currencies to help international trade. As of the end of 2021, the most recent numbers show that there are $13 trillion in reserves. This includes $7.1 trillion in US dollars, 2.5 trillion euros in euros, and $3.4 trillion in other currencies. So, it would only make sense to use XRP as a reserve currency if some important goods and services could only be bought with XRP. Right now, that's not true, and it doesn't look like it will be true anytime soon. Still, he thinks that if central banks held both US dollars and XRP as reserve currencies, they wouldn't have less US dollars. If the dollar loses its status as a reserve currency, it will be because of problems with the dollar itself, not because more people are using XRP. If you don't trust fiat currencies and like cryptocurrencies, it seems more likely that central banks will lose importance as a variety of cryptocurrencies handle transactions, store value, and act as money without a central bank. There is a new idea that makes things easier to get to, cheaper, and better for everyone involved. First come the early adopters and the brave innovators, then the scalability barriers and what we call the chasm. So, blockchain and cryptocurrencies need to get better if they are to replace the way value is distributed now. Even though the amount of fiat currency market capitalization that is converted to cryptocurrency can change a lot, this is the best way to figure out how many of the old ways of moving money have been replaced by the new ones. Exchange activity can also be a sign of adoption, but it's not a good way to figure out where we are on the bell. 
because if the exchange process lowers the market capitalization, we don't really know how we're getting closer to a U.S. cryptocurrency. Market capitalization, the broadest metric available, can be used to calculate the amount of U.S. dollars that have moved into cryptocurrencies. However, none of these measures explains why the U.S. should switch to a national cryptocurrency. If speed and low cost are the guns, then an aging population is the bullet. By 2025, there will be two retirees for every worker in the United States and the rest of the world. This means that their pensions will need to be paid. The U.S. might suddenly support getting rid of the S and D instead of waiting for other cryptocurrencies to do so. The Treasury does this first, which brings in investors, and then the XRP can replace the U.S. As a bridge currency, XRP is meant to make it easy to switch between other currencies. It will be a go-between. If it wins in court and more people start to accept it, cross-border liquidity will get a lot better and fiat values will be more similar. There won't be as many places where people can get in the way or cause problems. I think it would make the idea of different currencies for each country less important. Most other cryptocurrencies are very different from XRP in how they are distributed and how they use technology. No proof of work or proof of stake is needed to confirm a transaction, and it's not mine. However, some trusted agents verify transactions. A consensus protocol is run on the servers of a few banks. XRP can handle about 15 O transactions per second, and each transaction can be confirmed in less than 4 seconds. When Ripple was first started, 10 billion XRP were made. Some of it went to partners, but most of it stayed with the company, Ripple, and still does. There are currently 45.7 billion XRP in circulation, and Ripple sometimes sells XRP to pay for its business. The main difference between XRP and Bitcoin is that XRP uses power, while Bitcoin uses an algorithm called consensus. Because of this, XRP can finish transactions faster and waste less processing power. It does, however, make things too centralized. Businesses are becoming more aware of sustainability, and there is a growing trend for companies to use less energy to reduce their carbon footprints. Some places are making sustainability rules more important because mining doesn't need computer power. XRP nodes could work well if they only checked and approved blockchain transactions. A typical blockchain network uses more power than Ripple's network. Like Bitcoin, Ripple XRP is a fast payment system that lets banks settle transactions around the world in real time. This makes it harder to create RTGS systems to help with international trade. It's not hard at all for foreign banks. RippleNet has added a lot of banks from other countries. Any bank that joins the network can trade with other banks that are also part of the network. So, XRP gives clients of participating banks access to the market. As banks learn more about cybersecurity risks, they have been taking steps to protect the safety of their transaction records. The cryptographic processes that make blockchain solutions work mean that they have a high level of data security, which is good for banks. Their design keeps the system from going down as much as possible. Ripple is a platform that allows transactions to be made quickly and at a low cost. Ripple wants an open interbank FX system that lets many XRP-like assets exist and be traded digitally. This is a bigger threat than XRP itself. Even if they destroy XRP, the rest of the world is already moving to an open system. So, it doesn't make a difference. The big US banks, which control the FX market right now, will lose a huge amount of market share. Only a few people own 80 to 90% of the daily market's $7.6 trillion. They can't make it in an open system, and swift system sanctions won't help them. The foreign exchange market between banks and other countries will no longer be under the control of the U.S. government. No one can stop it. Everything is already set up for XRP to replace USD, so it's just a matter of time. Well, guys, that's all we have for you today. What are your thoughts on XRP? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. If you guys like this video, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video so that you're notified the next time we upload a video on the latest XRP and cryptocurrency news. Until the next video comes out, you can watch our other videos about XRP or other cryptocurrencies. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again in the next video goodbye.